Hello and welcome back to more Animaniacs. I'm Devin, with me is Cody. Hey everybody. And finishing off with After School Dice Club episodes 11 and 12. Woohoo! And so before we even get to the ending and our thoughts and feelings, as I'll be for the aftermath. Mm -hmm. uh, episode 11, we found out in episode 10 that there's a board game competition coming up. Yep. That Meadery is going to attend. Yeah. Or was hemming and hawing about, but after, in episode 11, we get the uh, message from George. is like, yeah, I would love to see your game. Challenge, challenge. Mm -hmm. Gauntlet thrown. Is he challenging me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes he, he is. is. So, what does she do? Basically pulls all-nighters and basically fixes up her board game. Yep. First of all, she uh, has already modified it, and she has everyone play test it. Yeah. And everyone's, like, wrapped up and actually enjoying the game, instead of, like, this was kind of boring after a while. Yeah. So, much more improvement. Mm-hmm. But then she's like, there's a thing missing from it. There's... Why did I, I make this in the first place? Well, first, I think her boss was like, there's something missing. Yeah. And flashback. Yeah. Then we have a four-year flashback. We find out that Meadery's dad runs a furniture gallery. Mm hmm And that she used to spend all her time there with one of the furniture masters, I guess they call them. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but... Yeah. <laughs> Side character didn't get his name. Yeah. He's old. <laughs> That's... <laughs> but... Then Meadery, young Meadery, comes back home and she's like, well, I can buy my furniture and buy stuff. My dad bought all this for me, but he bought it for his taste, not mine. And then she finds out how expensive furniture actually is. Yep, like 250,000 yen. Yep. And then that was an eye-opener. And But she's like, but that whole building your own room, everyone should have that feeling. And that's why she created this board game, was so that everyone could have the feeling of creating their own room. Yep. But currently her board game is missing that aspect. Yeah. It has the shopping and gathering furniture, but it doesn't have the create your room aspect. Yeah. So her all-nighters are her basically making tokens of furniture and then room tiles so that you can actually put the furniture in rooms. Yeah. I do like how she went back to the furniture shop to take pictures of the furniture. Yeah. I like your comment when you saw the old man. Oh, he's not dead. Yeah, okay. I don't know why that came out. <laughs> I don't know why I thought the old man died. Like, as if that was a tragic <laughs> moment. That he it was so funny, though. Oh, he's not dead. Why did I think he would be? <laughs> I've watched way too many animes where that was like the motivation for something. Well, I don't know. It To be fair, it would be possible. We don't know how old Meadery was at that point. Well, it said four years ago. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think back. So, if we're assuming that these are 16, 17 year olds, that means Meadery would have been 12, 13. Okay, fair. In the flashback. That's fair. <clears throat> and, yeah. So they, uh. had one last playtest, I think? Yep. After she painstakingly worked for. Oh, yeah, no. So she. So we see. Uh, montage of her in school like basically struggling to stay awake focusing is bad and her friends starting to slowly worry yeah. about her condition but I do like except the except for Emmy yeah Emmy's like no leave her be she's, yeah, she's focused fine. right now she's doing something but I, I just the math class shocked me yeah I'm like her to sleep and then hey give me the answer rattles off this intense Formula. formula and I'm like what? So you've never had a moment like that. No. I used to do that too in school is I drift off and then the teacher thinks that they'll catch me in sleeping. It's like, mm -hmm. Devin, answer the question. 
but I will have the answer because I was half listening <laughs> and my brain was just half awake is the state I called it. Yeah. And sometimes you just luck out, you rhyme off something that just happens to be right. Yeah. And she gave herself a cold. Yeah, she sleep deprived herself to the point where she caught a cold and even during her cold she was still tunnel vision focused on her game. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. she eventually gets better, comes to the game store, everyone's happy to see her. Especially Aya. Aya. Well Aya's the emotional one I find. Yeah. I like just tackles her. her. <laughs> I'm like, assault! And basically she explains herself and she's like, yeah, sorry, I was focused too much on my game and maybe lost track of my health. Mm -hmm. But here it is. <laughs> Please play test it. And it looked cool. It looks good. It it would definitely be now be a game that I was like, I would play that. I don't know I, if I'd still own that, but I'd try it. I would definitely try. And it seems to it do very well, so she's interested in the competition. That's basically where the episode ends. Yeah. So this is where I was thinking we would see the competition, but it's not that kind of competition. Yeah, I was a little... It's more just submit your games to this developer... And let them criticize it. Let them criticize it, and then whoever they deem the best game submitted gets published. gets published. And so, the long short of that is, is Meter's game is reviewed by George's team. George of Bad Dwarf Games says it got high reviews but it had a few shortcomings and that's why we can't publish it as is but if you're serious about this mm -hmm. i'm opening an invitation to come see us in america and we, we can show you how games are really made and maybe that will spur you mm -hmm. into better heights this is not to discourage you this is to encourage you yeah and I like how originally I thought he was a complete and total D-bag. Yeah. And now I'm like, he's a that partial was actually nice. He's only partial now. Yeah. He, he's, job. he gives the harsh truth and that's kind of what people need. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, we're in an age where it's like, sugarcoat everything, don't hurt anyone's feelings. But I was like, that won't help. No, that doesn't really help. That doesn't build the, a character. Yeah, no. If you can't handle criticism, even the harshest of criticisms. And you shouldn't be a game designer or, or anything. Yeah, then you're not really pursuing your passion. Yeah, no. Your passion isn't just going to come naturally. <clears throat> it's going to come through hard work, constant reminders that you suck. <laughs> what can you bet? And... Basically, there's going to be times where you're down and out and being kicked into the ground. And it's those moments where you stand back up and try again that yep. really determine, are you actually ready for this? Yeah, it's pretty much revise, revise, revise. Yeah. Hey, anyway, motivational aside, let's get on yeah. to the actual meaning of the final episode. Mm -hmm. Which is more Miki dealing with life changes. Yeah. So this is where we find out everyone's uh, life plans are different. Yeah, and this I didn't know about, like, Jap Japan school. Yeah. Your major... Kind of determines what classes you go to. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, Japan has a different schooling. Yeah. Instead of uh, going to different classrooms for at the school... The students stay in one classroom and the teacher goes to different classes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Actually. So, to, that makes more sense now that I know that your majors kind of determine what teachers will be coming in to teach you. That is interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, 
And this is when <laughs> Miki kind of starts her spiral. Yeah. We watch Miki kind of break in this episode. And yes. It's sad, but also very interesting. Yeah. But, so first of all, she finds out that, it's like, oh, next year we might not all be in the same class again. That's not how our schooling works. Yeah. Especially since me, Midori and Emmy are going to be taking science and you guys are taking human resources. I forget what the other class they were. <laughs> yeah, I forget too. But something to do with human. Yeah. So, alright, that's bad. And it's like, well, we can still hang out for the summer. And it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm going to Germany. I'm going back to Germany with my family because the guy who visits my grandmother. Yeah, it's going to be just a family thing, so I'm not taking any friends along. And one more hike. <laughs> in the in Yeah. <laughs> Mickey. Mm -hmm. And then Meadery was offered to go to America, so now she's considering taking up that option. And considering moving there, staying if that's where she ends up having to build the games. Yeah. I think right now it's just a visit. Yeah. And then she'll come back, and then if she has to move there, she will, but yeah. she doesn't have to stay there, it's the thing. Yeah. I think this is just a summer vacation yeah, trip. Yeah, it's true. And, uh, Emmy hasn't decided if she's staying in Japan after school or not. Yeah. So... And it's like, probably not, because Germany's the better place to go if I want to be a game developer. Yet another bike. Yep. But good old Aya. Aya will stick around. She has no ambitions and wants and dreams. Let's ask her about those. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to be, like, work with animals, either photog a photographer like my dad or a veterinarian. In other countries. In other countries. Oh. Well then, wouldn't you have took a science? It's like, yeah, but I want to try to do a lot of other things, so... And I, she's just like, I'm a free spirit that wants to travel, really. Yeah. Step back! Yeah. So, Miku goes home basically that night and just has the a breakdown of like, am I the only one who wants to stay the same? Am I that weak that I can't yeah. Uh, live without my friends and... <laughs> yeah, then immediately make after makes a phone call. Yeah, we don't know what time of night is. I'm no. doing very late. Yeah, I, I made the joke. It's 3 a.m. Why are you calling me? She calls I of all people, but... Why? Probably because I would be the one most likely to be awake at this time. I suppose. We don't know Emmy's sleep patterns or, like, personal personality. Yeah. Fair. And we know Midori's a very scheduled person, so she probably has a scheduled bedtime in that. Yeah. When she's not doing all nighters. Yeah. But of course, Aya doesn't answer, probably because she's asleep or not home, whatever. Yeah. And Miku the next day tries to find her friends and they're nowhere to be found. Yeah. First goes to Emmy's building. building. And the game shop. No answer. But at the game shop, she picks up a game and kind of heads to the park. Yeah. But the shop owners are like, well, the cafe, uh, Emmy's dad, is just kind of like, yeah, she'll be home in an hour if you want to stay. No, that's mm -hmm. fine. Then he looked like, what's up with worried. you? Yeah. And then the game owner, are you okay? Hey, you look you a little pale. <laughs> It's like, oh, you not act normal. No. All right, I better tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then it's the two doofuses that find her. <laughs> doofus one and doofus two. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, the other one's not exactly a doofus. No. He's just following doof. Yeah. So, Taka and Ken. Yeah. <laughs> as we call them. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, see Meadery in the park, a bit sad, but they don't really approach her. All they like, do is tell her friends. It's like, hey, your friends in the park. Yeah, not looking too great. Yeah, looking a little sad. Yeah. And then we get an interesting <laughs> moment yeah. of Miki opening up the box of cards, and there's like all these fun little creatures. Yep. And her basically, first of all, we have a flashback of like why she bought the game. Yeah. And it's because one of the characters on the cards reminds her of a stuffed animal she had. Yeah. <laughs> then she kind of just imagine plays with the cards as they, they talk, talk to her like about going to a picnic and then there's this one shy one that they're like don't bother with her she's too shy and doesn't want to go on it have fun yeah. with all this. <laughs> this whole scene I was like are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Had a little bit of mental breakdown here buddy. <laughs> you, you good? <laughs> you don't seem good but are you good? I don't think you're good. But then our friends show up and then we're reminded of friendship lasts a lifetime. Even yeah. if we are in separate classes or even continents, our friendship will endure. Yeah. Even like in second year for at school, we can meet up after school and still play board games like we're doing right now. Yeah. Nothing stopping us from ever doing that. It's true. And that's when we decide, let's make an after school club. What do they call it, Devin? The After School Dice Club. Name drop! <laughs> Last episode, name drop, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but they did end up playing that game. Yeah. And it's a pretty simple game. It's a very simple game. I do think I've played that before as well. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be one you cream everybody at. Yeah, because I'm. it's about... Whenever you flip over a card and you get this silly creature and whoever flips over the card names the creature. And if you get the matching pair, you say that name and you yeah. get all the cards that were pulled. Yes. Very simple to understand. Very annoying when you have someone who makes up creative names like Sturkoflum. <laughs> and wouldn't have fun playing with me. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you are very uncreative. <laughs> Oh, look, jerk face. Yeah, like, you'd just be an insult name. And it's like, as fun as I'd be for a few rounds, yeah. it'd get annoying after a while. That's true. Because you're not really trying, you're just being an insult. Plump or jerk? Yeah. Hey, see, that's a little Ooh. better. Or Franco Dinesco. <laughs> <laughs> you said that during the episode, didn't you? Yep. Of course you did. But yeah, um, they end up doing that whole, let's make the club, and... And so, we're, it's like, this is the end, but it's actually the beginning kind of mm -hmm. ending for the anime. And that's why we were curious if there is a second season coming. We were looking online, found an article that uh, in 2022, a second season was confirmed. Now, I'm wondering if that's should be out by 2022 or no announced. i think that was just announced 2022. Okay. if i had to guess otherwise we'd see more of yeah the second season it is also possible it was announced and then dropped it's possible but f the future will know yeah because you're watching this in the yeah. future and there's not a second season well eh. <laughs> we tried yeah and like, like we were saying, we don't even know what they do with a second season. No, this ended kind of nicely. Yeah. So, I don't see a second season, but we'll leave that for now. This yeah. is going to be the end of the episode reviews. Tune in next week for the aftermath, where we discuss the whole series. Yeah. And our thoughts and opinions of it. Until then, have a good one, guys. Peace out.